Hello, I'm Janelle and I live in a van with my pet snake, Alfredo. Today, I'm going to be going on a drive with Louie. I have made a new friend, this is Janelle. Hi. You might recognize her from going crazy viral over the last month. Well, this channel has been everywhere. Is YouTube flooding your homepage with women who live in vans? Over 1.3 million I'm subscribers on the YouTuber that just blew up overnight called Janelle. I know there's lots of questions out there for Janelle, so I asked on Instagram for people to ask questions, and I thought I'd do a fun Q&A whilst we're cruising up to Malibu. This is the first question I got. It's broken English, so I don't know what your response is gonna be, but how she choose the combination Pretty girl snake van. I choose combination pretty girl snake van. <laughs> how? Yeah, how? How um, you choose combination? I don't know how I choose. <laughs> um, that just that just came naturally. Yeah. I didn't choose it. The the, the snake in the van chose me. Ah, that's a good. That's pretty is subjective, but thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever felt unsafe traveling by yourself? No, I haven't ventured out of California and I'm pretty comfortable out here and I, I feel like just living this lifestyle for almost two years I'm able to kind of follow my intuition and like kind of stray away from like situations where I feel unsafe. Traveling as a, as a man, you just feel a little safer because and I'm a bit bigger, like, I feel like if I was, I don't know how I, I would... like a foot taller than me. Yeah. How tall are you? 5'5". Five are you 6'5"? Five? Yeah, just That's under 6'5". <laughs> so I think there's, I would feel more intimidated if I was in your position, but it's good that you don't feel scared. That's good. Yeah. You never feel unsafe in the van or anything? No, not really. Oh, it's good. It's good. You know, with this YouTube stuff, a little bit. But... Yeah, there's some weird stalkers out there. If you're a weird stalker, just chill out, all right? Um, okay, this could be a very lengthy question, but this is tips to live in a van. Maybe, maybe give your top three tips. Uh, don't rush. Plan. Make sure you pick the right van for you. Save. You should save more money and have it in your bank account than what you put into your van. Like, don't put your whole life savings into building a van. Living a minimalist lifestyle is a lot easier than you think. You don't need all the money. What are your top pros and cons of living in a van? Because as you know guys, like I've lived in vehicles a lot of my life, like my double-decker bus, school bus, van, but you've done it like full-time for two years, right? Yeah. So what are your pros and cons? Um, pros far outweigh the cons, but having the freedom to travel whenever. Having like everything you need at all times. Like I love having my whole closet with me in case I like spill food on myself. I'm always ready to go. Are you clumsy too? I'm quite clumsy. So clumsy. Yeah. <laughs> Having your own space, not paying rent, that's like probably the biggest pro for a lot of people. Cons is just, I mean, you can have a van with a bathroom. That's what I, my goal is eventually, but having to revolve your schedule around showers and bathrooms is the worst. I've gotten like pretty used to it, but especially if you're just starting out, it becomes like, it becomes a chore. Why do you like snakes and how long had you been wanting to get one? I like, okay, well, I didn't really care for snakes before Alfredo, and I got him at a reptile expo on a whim. And he won your heart? He won my was heart. it love at first sight, or was it like? Definitely. Yeah. I went to this expo, saw Alfredo, but decided to be responsible and sleep on it and do research on snakes, and then figured, like, he's like the perfect pet for me and like my lifestyle and the next day I just got him and wow. it's been history us I love him so much I love him more I actually lost him one time and then that day I realized like how much he means to me because you like panicked and were heartbroken yeah I cried <laughs> I cried so hard I feel like he's the perfect sidekick you're like the superhero and he's like your he's like your sidekick yeah or he's like the super villain <laughs> and I'm just like his, like, assistant. Okay. <laughs> this person says, are you a hired actress by YouTube? No, I wish. Okay, how, <laughs> but, but people are still going to be like, yeah, that she would say so that I if she was. That. You would say that if you were a hired actress. I really actress. don't know what to say. How like, can you prove that you're not? How do I not? prove that I'm not? Yeah, that's a hard one. Um, you're just going to have to trust me, I guess. If you are an actress, you like are the best 
literally the best actors ever. And you've like really got gone full in on your role. Like, you know those method actors where they like live every second of their life in that role? That's kind of, you'd have to be that kind of actress if you were like that, you know? Yeah, when Maybe. everyone's sleeping, I just sneak off to YouTube's headquarters yeah. and practice my lines for the day. Yeah. My name's not even pronounced. <laughs> <laughs> Someone asked how much your band cost. Are you happy uh, to say how much your band cost? Yeah, I'm still working out the number, like, in detail, the numbers. The band itself was 2500 Okay. I want to say I put about anywhere between six and 9000 Are you looking to upgrade your band in any way? I'm looking to do a whole new build. I put a lot of money into this band and like time, but at the end of the day, I, I want to have them. <laughs> I want to shower to do more like long distance travels. Yeah, so. and, the, and the portable shower on your channel light is not cutting it. Yeah. How have you coped with like being thrown into the spotlight of suddenly like instant fame. I think... What's it been like? I don't think I've like reacted the way that I should have. <laughs> I'm still processing it and I feel like I'm still going to be processing it for the next like few months but I just keep living every day like I'm not a YouTuber which is kind of bad because I should be making videos right now but I'm not. We're just driving to have fun. <laughs> it's exciting. It's really exciting because a lot of the things that I want to do in life I feel like are going to be possible. Yeah. And I'm excited to like film and talk about that. And what would you say some of the tough parts of the being thrown into the spotlight have been? All the conspiracy theorists, even though I can't really defend myself other than saying that I'm not a paid actor or actress. And yeah, that's been kind of rough, but at the end of the day, I'm like, okay. There's not really anything I can do about it. Um, but yeah, no, everything else has been pretty nice. Yeah? Yeah, like I like you guys. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's the thing I love most about this whole YouTube journey I've been on for years. It's like the people I've met through it have been so amazing. And like you kind of, you, it's easy to connect with people on that same, like you share that in common that you love whatever like making videos and traveling yeah i'm excited for janelle to travel more that's what i can't wait to see her travel outside of california I've maybe never left california. <laughs> maybe to other countries who knows maybe we'll get to go on some adventures yeah i want to go to other countries i'm getting my passport today so you picking ready. Up? are you picking it up today um probably maybe. not probably tomorrow okay. <laughs> either way we'll be ready get ready guys for some international adventures with alfredo wait can alfredo come <laughs> Some countries. Okay. I know he's not allowed in Hawaii. We'll get him a little passport. Describe like a video you can imagine uploading in a year from now. Oh, a year? I, I don't know. We might be in this van. We might be in another van. We might be... I really want to go to Antarctica. That Whoa. might be like in a year. That might be my year of vlog. You'd need to uh, put some really good snow tires on the <laughs> band. Yeah, that'd be a full expedition. No, I want to do a lot of like cross country with a vehicle. <laughs> do you have any plans to like get a pet, uh, friend for Alfredo? Um, or do you think he's enough in your life? I want to get another snake, but I don't have enough electricity for that right now. <laughs> Uh, Maybe you need in the more next... solar panels. Huh? You need more solar panels. Yeah, I lost one on my way here. Did I tell you that? Yeah, one of her solar panels <laughs> fell off the roof. And then when that powers his heating, that to keep him warm. Yeah, we have enough power for him still though. But I'm thinking the next build, maybe. Maybe I'll get another snake. That was a maybe, a, <laughs> maybe you could get a snake and then they could have snake babies. And then you could have a whole... Oh, a whole colony of yeah. Alfredos. If Alfredo had babies, would you want one? We could maybe have a snake in the house. Any wisdom you could give to people watching that are a bit younger or kind of want to step out of that day-to-day, -day, nine to five or whatever it is that's holding them back. Like, have you got any words of wisdom? Um, listen to your heart. <laughs> listen to your heart, but be smart and use your brain and don't just like make impulsive decisions. Cause like you can easily just buy a van and like try to travel. 
but you have to be a little bit more methodical about it and like, be smart. So be don't smart with don't, your finances. So don't just like find a snake and buy it the next day. I <laughs> I did my research. <laughs> okay. I did my research before I got him and then he So you can be impulsive them. as long as there's like some t- a time period of like really doing your research. Yeah. The orange VW camper van guys that I have, it's been off the road since, I don't know, a year ago, maybe longer, because of the breakdowns, the engine blew up. And... Yeah, down here with VWs, it's like, it's just part of the journey. Mm. I'm trying to get it converted to electric at the moment, but then, even then, like, I'll have limited range, and I might have to wait a number of hours for it to, like, charge up, so it's not as easy just to refuel and go, but... Did you charge it with solar? I have seen. Oh, you want to take a ride there. Um, I have seen a. Um, I have seen a solar charging electric VW camper van, but the entire the entire roof is like solar panels, and then it like tilts up to get the maximum sun exposure. Okay. That'll be pretty fun. I didn't see that. How that turns out. Yeah, that'll be good on that. Um, we're actually on the way to my school bus, which I want to show Janelle, which is parked up in Malibu, just to give you some inspiration on the potential of getting a bigger vehicle. You probably wouldn't want to get one this big. I can just imagine you behind this, like, driving your school bus around. I'm so excited to see it. So crazy. I want, like, a schoolie's, like, on my list to break, but not a a long one. Yeah, you'd want a short one. One more question's come in. Quite a broad one. Who are you? Which... Could be that you introduce yourself. I'm an actress for you too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how? Yeah, that's a good question. Like, how would you introduce yourself to people now? Uh, would you say you're a YouTuber yet? I guess you are, but it's only been a month. And you're a very successful YouTuber. <laughs> I'm an incredibly I'm successful YouTuber. Three videos. Yeah. Um, who am I? Right. Yeah, that's a, that could be a deep question, isn't it? No, that is a good question that I need to ask myself. Yeah. Who am I? Who are you? Yeah. I'll I think we get are back all, to you. We're all <laughs> continually asking ourselves that question. Yeah, I'm on like the beginning of like my journey of figuring out who I am. Welcome to the happiness bus. Oh my god, this is so cute. Isn't it great? <laughs> it's so cute, isn't it? And then this like pops open so you can see the stars at night and Netflix. Yeah, like my van is like probably this. This is your dream here, though. Look. Oh, and the tile. Yeah, oh, this it's is like so nice. It's so nice of it. This is little shower. Oh my gosh. And then all, all the water is like plumbed in. So you have running water. Yeah. And then we actually like r- like. Drove it into position and then built this little wooden deck and like this whole area for it. What are your thoughts on the bus? I'm obsessed. But I just. Too big for you? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it would be cool if I could, like, if I knew. I can barely parallel park my van. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a little tour of the happiness bus. Hopefully, you've been a little bit inspired for your next build out. Yeah, no, for sure. This yeah? bus is insane. It's like living luxury <laughs> compared to my van. What does Alfredo think? Do you like the bus? <laughs> He's indifferent. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, if you haven't seen Janelle's videos yet, I highly recommend you head over to her channel. Make sure you subscribe and uh, yeah, I'll catch you soon. Peace out, enjoy life and Bye. live the adventure. <laughs> Bye. What's your outro? Um, I'm going to stop talking now, toodles. <laughs> <laughs>